In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a M.2 NVMe SSD and use an M.2 NVMe on an Orange Pi 5 single board computer. And the first thing you have to do is you need to um, get Vanilla Etcher or some kind of a software that you you could use the image, uh, the operating system, and, but I'll be doing it on Armbian OS. So you could get Etcher here for imaging your um, micro SD card because you're, you're going to need to do that first. And you need to go to Orange Pi 5's website. And download an image of... Um, as for what I'm going to be doing today, it's going to be Armbian OS. That's what I'm going to be using for my operating system. So you just download this. I have to do it again uh, for the SSD... Uh, or the M.2 NVMe SSD as well, which I will be doing later. Download this. Use Vanilla Etcher. Um, you need something called a M.2. Uh, sorry, it's a micro SD card USB reader. Something like this. This is what I'm using to image my uh, micro SD card with the RMB and operating system. I'll leave it in the video descriptions below for all the parts that I use today. You download this basically, and then you, you plug in your micro SD card. I made many videos about this you could uh, go back and view it if you want but all you do is you stick in your micro SD card USB card just start etcher just show, show you an example you select the file Let me find out where that is. Um, just to show you an example of it. Uh, You just select one like that, for example, and then you just select the drive, and then you just select it. But I'm not going to do it and then just flash it. That's all you have to do. It's going to copy it to your flash drive. It's going to verify it. It's, it may take maybe anywhere from three to ten minutes. So just be patient, let it complete, and then you just eject the drive and then stick it back into your Orange Pi 5, and that's it. So now I'm going to go back, go to my um, M.2 NVMe um, drive and show you how to put in the M.2 NVMe drive next, okay? I'll see you there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my M.2 NVMe drive in this enclosure, M.2 NVMe enclosure right here. So 
So you need this to flash the operating system on the M.2 NVMe drive. This this is the fastest way to do it. And what you need is you need a computer that has a USB-C port like this. So the USB-C port goes in from your M.2 NVMe enclosure like this. And the other portion goes into your computer. So you need a computer that can that has a port like that or it's not going to work. It's not going to work on a USB 3.0 port by the way. Even if you get a USB-C to USB connector it's not going to work. It only works on a USB-C connector where I think it has to be a USB 3.1 or 3.2 or something like that. But It's definitely not going to work on 3.0 USB 3.0. So um, so I got this um, Orico M.2 NVMe enclosure. So this something like this would work for it. And to take it out, it's quite simple. It came with the, these cables. It came with a thermal pad for the M.2 NVMe. It came with this heat sink. It came with two rubber tabs for uh, holding the M.2 NVMe and that's about it that's what it came with let's take it out so to take it out you just you see this arrow pointing this way move it that way basically like that get it out like that pull it out and then you can pull the M.2 NVMe uh, thing out. I'm gonna put my M.2 NVMe in here. It goes in like this. This is the top. There's a key right here. It connects to that key right here I think. At a 40, 40 degree angle I think like that. Maybe 35 or 40. That's how all M.2 NVMe drives go in. Push it in, that's it. And push it down after that. Um, I'm not going to use the tab here because I'm just going to flash an operating system image on it. But if you want to use this to um, you know as a permanent storage thing, you could you could push put this thing here, push it down this thing down like this. But you, you gotta unpeel it first, by the way. Goes in just like that. This is like the heat sink part of it. You're not gonna be able to use a tab, a rubber tab, when you use that this thing you're not going to be able to do that because it's not going to fit so um, if you have a larger M.2 NVMe like a 2280 then you could use the tab because it goes all the way at the top but for this one you can't so now I'm just going to close this up you do have to unpeel the thermal pad like that but I'm not going to do that for this drive because that's not what I'm doing. Maybe I'll make another video about that on a larger M.2 NVMe. So I don't have to use a tab to close it. So we're just doing this temporarily. So uh, what you do is you get it in like this. And slide it right in. Make sure you push this down a little bit when you do this. I think it goes in like this, this part right here, you see that. I'm going to push it up, and now it's locked. Now I could use this, so I'm going to go to my computer and flash an operating system image of um, Armbian OS for the Orange Pi 5 single board computer.
Okay, so I got that done. I uh, flashed the image of RBNOS for Orange Pi 5 SBC on this. So now I have to take this out and put it back into my Orange Pi PC. So to take it out, I, here's the arrow. You just move it that way, like that. Now you just pull it out. Pull the micro or the M.2 NVMe drive out, like so. It's actually pretty hot because it was used. So I'm just going to put this back in. Now I want to put this in, the, in back in my Orange Pi PC. And as you can see on my Orange Pi SPC, I put this mount on there. I made a video about that. Uh, it'll be in the video descriptions below, or in the video cards if you're interested in the top right corner. So I'm going to put my flash drive, uh, my M.2 NVMe in here. By the way, um, you do have. I have my um, M.2 NVMe in my micro SD card slot. So this one has an uh, image of Armbian OS for Orange Pi 5. So you have to put both of them in there before you do this, right? So I'm going to put this back in. Goes at a 35 or 40 degree angle, like. Like how, how you put in any M.2 NVMe drive. Let me get that in. Okay, it just goes in like that at an angle, as you can see. It's about 35 or 40 degrees or something. and just like that so I'm going to screw this back in since I have a mount so you don't have to over tighten it just put it in Firmly, but don't over tighten it. Now I'm going to put my case back in. That doesn't look like it's firmly in there. Let me do that again. I want to make sure it's in there. Just make sure. 
make sure it's in there nice and nice and tight. Hard to do on camera. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna put the case back together. If you don't have a case, then this this part doesn't concern you doesn't mean anything to you but for those of you who, who do have the exact same case uh, I guess it does apply to you so you can watch this part Sorry about my squeaky chair. Sounds kind of annoying, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Put the last two in there. Just to, to like hold it so I can tighten it. Use these pliers. Okay, good. I don't want to over tighten it. Let me check to see if it's tight. Oh, shoot. Okay, I didn't damage anything. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm going to plug this back into my. Uh, monitor and let's uh, start the process I'll see you on Armbian next so now I'm starting on my Armbian operating system my orange Pi 5 single board computer Okay.
I'll show you what to do now. You go to uh, terminal. You could find it here. For me, I put it on here. I what I did was I right clicked on it and just added it to favorites, and it goes here. It's on the side now, which is a lot more convenient. So I'm going to start command prompt or terminal. And we want to go into Armbian config. If you're using um, Ubuntu, it would be called Ubuntu config. But for, th for this, it's Armbian config. For Raspberry Pi, it'd be Raspberry Pi slash config. So you get the idea. So now you go here, put in your password. It allows you to go in here. You can go into it another way. I want to, wait a minute, cancel. Show you another way to get into it. It would be going here, going to RB and config, and you could get here the same way. If you don't want to type in any commands, you can do that as well. Same thing as you can see. But what we're going to do here is, I'm going to update the bootloader, upload it to, I don't think they have SPI on Armbian, they might have MPI or something. We'll, we'll update and update and install the bootloader to MPI. And after I finish this, I'm going to reboot. I'm going to turn off uh, my SPC. I'm going to remove the micro SD drive and I'm going to boot from the M.2 NVMe. So let's begin. First, I want to see if the M.2 NVMe is in my drive or not, is in my SPC. And to do that, to do that, you must type in sudo. sudo fdisk space um, dash L. And it does show that my M.2 NVMe is detected. It's right here. Okay. So now I want to go into Armbian. Sudo. Armbian config. Go here. Let me minimize that. Go into system, system and security setting. Go into install, install to update bootloader. And as you can see, I don't have SPI, I have MTD instead. So I'm going to install, update the bootloader to MTD flash. Okay. This script will update the bootloader on one or multiple of these MTD devices. MTD block zero. It may take up to a few minutes. Continue? Yes. We just wait a few minutes and it should be done. Okay, so now it's done. We could go back to back and exit this. Exit this as well. What I want to do now is I want to shut down my computer. Shut it down.
Okay, now I put an RMB in without my micro SD card. So I'm booting from my um, M.2 NVMe SSD entirely, not from my um, micro SD card. So it's going in. So um, this is a fresh install, so I'm going to be doing a fresh install again. Install create root password. I'll be creating that. Going to select one. Provide a username. Okay, I can't do that. I'll just put ace then. Password for ace. It's going to tell me to repeat the password. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, set user language based on your location. Yes. I guess I'll skip for now. We'll do it later. Okay, so now I'm loaded. Uh, I'm back on my Armbian. I'll have to resolve a few things before I can get it get to use it but now you get the basic idea on how to uh, get the m.2 nvme drive to work on your uh, i guess orange pi 5 single board computer so this is how you do it you could do it you could do the same thing on ubuntu as well so this concludes this tutorial and i hope you found this helpful and um, if you liked it you could thumbs up this video and share it and um, if you have any questions you could leave in the comment section below and thanks for watching I do have a video on how to configure Armbian OS for the Orange Pi 5 PC if you're interested it'll be at the top right corner or in the video links below so as as it is now it's it's not going to work perfectly we do I do still have to tweak this a little bit Okay, thanks for watching.